Hello Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the Tarot Empress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on the energies of June 2020. This is going to be a general tarot card reading and the purpose of it is to provide you with advice in terms of energies that may need your healing attention. Okay, so I've already shuffled the cards, laid them out. Now, the first energy that I'm looking at is showing to me that many of you are going to be feeling stressed out and overwhelmed. There's going to be a lot that is going to be going on in your world in June 2020. So it feels as if you will be feeling stressed. You will be feeling overwhelmed. You may have a lot of responsibilities, obligations. It feels as if a lot of things in your life are going to be demanding your attention. Now, with this energy, it feels as if you may feel that you're being burdened, you're being stressed out. And the key thing in alleviating this type of stress is to be very discerning. You have to ask yourself one very important question, and that is, what needs to stay and what needs to go? Sometimes in life, you may feel like you're being overwhelmed by all the distractions and all of the expectations that people and life in general has of you. It feels like you have to be incredibly smart in terms of what's important and what is not important. Now, I feel like this is pointing in the direction of elements you haven't really seen as uh, causing a distraction in your world. So it feels as if you have to be very, very careful, you know, when it comes to what you entertain and what you don't entertain. Under some circumstances, some of you may have individuals in your life that might be energy vampires or people that are demanding a lot of, you know, your time, but not really giving you back what you've been putting into their lives. So it feels like there might be an imbalance there. And what you're searching for in June 2020 is balance because it feels as if you need to be very determined, very ambitious and very much having your eyes on the prize in June 2020 because it feels as if you can accomplish a lot, but you have to be careful in terms of where you put your energy towards and what objective it is. Now, I sense here, when it comes to your investment of time, when it comes to what you direct your attention towards, you have to ensure that if it is towards people or a particular objective, that you are going to be getting something out of it. It feels like, you know, you could be the type of individual that's very generous, very giving, very kind, and the people that, uh, you know, take from you may not reciprocate in the same manner. So it's incredibly important for you to realize that, you know, you need to be very objective, very hands-on, very action orientated but also very driven towards ensuring that you are in a fair situation, right? So Libra individuals are all about fairness, balance, all about having order in your world. And this is incredibly important to ensure that you are getting, you know, what you deserve out of the situation. Now, the next card that I'm looking at is showing to me, if there's something that's making you feel very emotional, if you're feeling paranoid, if you're feeling worried, if you're feeling anxious, what is the cause of this? Very, very important because sometimes people entertain fears and worries and they allow themselves to get so sucked into their anxiety that they, you know, get lost in this emotional world where they can't swim themselves out of it. Now, I feel like you need to ask yourself, you know, is this rational? Is this logical? Should you be feeding into these fears? Should you be allowing these worries to control you? You want to move away from that sort of energy, right? I'm seeing as well here that your world is going to change because you may have an opportunity to recognize patterns that you've picked up from either your childhood or from a particular experience that has shaped you in a way in which you worry needlessly for things that shouldn't be, you know, something to care about. It feels as if, you know, life is going to be okay. It's going to be just fine. So you rather, you know, focus on the things that you can change. You rather focus on the things that are important to you and get things going in the direction that you would like to see it go in. Finally, I feel like 
your spirit guides want you to know that you need to use your intuition. You need to pay attention to your dreams, your messages, things of that nature, angel numbers, whatever it might be. But it feels as if, you know, you need to direct your attention towards a more spiritual path in June 2020. This is going to be incredibly useful for you. When it comes to your objectives, you know, it feels like the universe wants you to know to really put your foot on the pedal and move forward as fast as you can. That's why don't entertain distractions. Don't allow your plate to get too full with things that are not really key to the objectives you've set out for June 2020. It's incredibly important. I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading and that you found this information to be useful. Have a wonderful day and take care.